Okay, so this video is about the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. Um, now, there's some pretty hectic words. So before we talk about the multiplicative inverse of a matrix, let's get really, really straightforward and talk about the multiplicative inverse of a number. So I've got some number, let's call it A. If I multiply it by one on A, the answer will be A over A, and anything over anything is equal to the number one. So for instance, if I had the number five, and I multiply it by its multiplicative inverse, which is one over five, then the answer will be five over five, which is equal to one. So the multiplicative inverse means a number, a thing that I can multiply the original by so that the answer is equal to one. That's what a multiplicative inverse is. So now let's look at the multiplicative inverse of a matrix. In words, I can say that matrix A, so some matrix, times the inverse of that matrix will equal the identity matrix. And you should remember that the identity matrix looks something like that. Okay, so the identity matrix is kind of like uh, the number one when it comes to numbers. So a matrix times the inverse of that matrix is equal to the identity matrix. So in maths, we can say that a, so that's matrix A, times the inverse of A. So that doesn't say A to the negative one. That actually says the inverse of A. It's a bit confusing that we use negative to the, it looks like to the power of negative one, but it's not. It's the inverse of. Equals I, which is the universe of capital I, is the universal symbol for the identity matrix, a matrix with ones going down the diagonal. Okay, um, in using concrete numbers, we can say that if A is 4163, then the multiplicative inverse, we'll figure out how to figure out what the multiplicative inverse is in a minute. The multiplicative inverse is 1 half, negative 1 sixth, negative 1 and 2 thirds. Now, if I multiply matrix A by matrix inverse A, I get this, 1, 0, 0, 1 which is the identity matrix. So a matrix times the inverse of that matrix is equal to the identity matrix. In words, in mathematical notation, and there's a concrete mathematical example right there for you. Now this is gonna be really useful, but it's only useful if you can figure out what the inverse, um, what the multiplicative inverse is, or just the inverse is what we usually call it. If you can figure out what this is, I told you what it is there, but you need to be able to find it yourself. So, it's a very, very straightforward um, set of steps for finding the inverse. Now, for now, we're only going to do the inverse of two by two matrices. If we go more than that, we, we can do it, but it's more, much more complicated. So, the inverse of a two by two matrix, which is A, B, C, D, we're going to write it as A to the negative one. That's the inverse of A. And the inverse of A is equal to one over a times D minus B times C times this matrix D, A, so swap D and A over and leave B and C where they are but make them negative. All right. Quite complicated but the inverse of that is that. Alright, let's do that step by step. So an important note before we get into the step by step is this one here. AD minus BC, which is this value here, is known as the determinant of matrix A. So AD, A times D minus B times C is the determinant of A. We can call that debt A or um, these two lines A. Now, unfortunately, sometimes there just is no um, inverse. So just because you have a matrix A does not mean that you're going to have an inverse A to negative 1. Now, you'll know that because if you get a determinant equal to 0, there's no inverse, and it's what we call a singular matrix. Um, it's just not going to work because if you get AD minus BC equal to 0, it's going to be 1 divided by 0, and that's just bad juju when it comes to that. 
All right, so here's our handy step-by-step -step guide to getting the inverse. Step one, swap the elements in the main diagonal. So if we've got A, B, C, D, we're going to swap the elements. So A, B, C, D, we're going to swap those elements, and what we get now is D, A, B, C. Okay, so there's step one. Multiply the elements in the other diagonal by negative one. All right, so this is now going to become, so that B is going to become negative B, and that C is going to become negative C. And that D and that A will stay where I put them in step one. Okay. Now, find the determinant AD minus BC. All right, so um, to do this bit from the original A. So we need to go back up to the top and find out what AD time, um, A times D minus B times C is. And then we put it all together into this calculation here. Now, this is only going to work for two by twos. Like I said before, three by threes, there's a far more complicated uh, way to do it. Finally, here's our very, very concrete example. Find the inverse of, call it C, two, negative three, one, five. So the inverse of that, and I'll do it step by step here so I can talk you through it. C to the negative 1, inverse of C, is equal to swap over the 2 and the 5. So that's going to be 5 and... Uh, actually, I need to make some space there. That's going to be 5 and 2. All right, negative 3 and 1 stay where they are, but their signs will change. So negative 3 will become positive 3, and 1 will become negative 1. Okay. And now we need to multiply that by our scalar, which is 1 over the determinant. And the determinant is equal to 2 times 5 minus 1 times negative 3. Okay, that's um, 1 over 10 uh, minus 1 times negative 3. So that's positive. So it's 1 over 13. 5, negative 1, 3, 2. Okay, and now we've got the inverse matrix is equal to 1 13th times 5, 3, negative 1, 2. And we're just multiplying by a scalar there. So we can put that 1 in 13 into our matrix by multiplying every element by 1 in 13. So it's 5 over 13, um, 3 over 13, uh, negative 1 over 13, and 2 over 13. And that is our inverse. Don't forget, that means that C times C to the negative 1, and you can try it out if you want, 2, negative 3, 1, 5 times 5, 13, 3 over 13, negative 1 over 13, and 2 over 13 will be equal to um, the identity matrix, which is 1, 0, uh, sorry, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, lots of notes there. Make sure that you scroll back through the video, or you can just sort of do it now, and take note of everything that we've been over there. Okay, that's the multiplicative inverse of a matrix.